Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning. I have the kids just sleeping over here. Uh, they like to sleep in the living room. Sometimes on the weekend, they kind of feel like they're camping out, uh, which is something that we let them do. They enjoy that. But anyway, they're just over there sleeping right now. And I'm going to work on Jessica stitches. So I'm going to turn you around and take a peek and I'm going to show you the gorgeous color that the next row of Jessica stitches are going to be. It is beautiful. It is called Caribbean Blue Number 1. So that's what I have so far. And then this is the gorgeous color that I'm going to work with today. And today I'm going to show you how to do the Jessica stitch with a bead. So just hang on a second and I'm going to get myself set up. Okay, so here I did my very first Jessica stitch with the bead in it. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So I have my placement correctly with my bead on. So then you just do your bead. And I like to have my beads like going up and down. So I make a complete X and I also want them secure. So the needle that I use, I use, make sure that it's small enough for beading and for stitching. So I use the same needle. Okay, so then you want to start your Jessica stitch. So what you do is from that bead, from that corner where you placed your bead, you go down two stitch, you go down, sorry, wait, you got it now? You go down two stitches and over one to the left. Go over to the left one. Okay? So then that's where you go up. Then you go over one, two, three, four, five. You go across five and you go up two. One, two. So then you know that that's the, the correct spot to go down because it's two stitches directly across from the bead. So then you go down. Now you don't want to pull too tight because you want to make sure that you can see the next hole. Because if you pulled that tight, then you wouldn't be able to see the hole. And then you want to make sure that your needle goes on this side of the thread. And you can pull that tight. Then you go up just the next hole over. And then again, you just, rather than pulling it tight, you pull it, put, make sure you got your needle going up and make sure it's the, the needle is on the right side of the thread. And then you pull. Not too tight because you don't want to pull the thread. You don't want to pull the fabric, I mean. Just go up here. How many is that now? So that is four places. So you're going to go do the fifth one. But this fifth one, you're going to make it so it's going straight up. So you go up one and to the left one. And then your next thread that will go up, you go over one and up one so right there right above right below the very first stitch that you went down and then you go over now the remainder of the stitches that you go up will already be used holes that have thread in them so this is the very first stitch where you went down in. Now you just keep going across. And 
So that's five across there. So this fifth one, this fifth one that you're going up in, again, you want to make sure it's going straight across. So you go over one thread and then down. So then it's making a straight line. And then you start on this line and you just go across with every every hole. You don't miss a hole except for the corners. And then again, you're at your fifth hole going up. Again, you want a straight line. So you just go down to this hole right here. Where is your, your first line here? Oops, sorry about that. And then you just keep going across. You want to make sure that you don't get your thread, your needle going through the thread, splitting the other threads. So then there's that one. So for this very last one, you also want it going straight across. But I don't like the look. I don't like how it looks when you go straight across and down. It makes it look incomplete to me. So what I do with this very last stitch that goes across, which will be your final stitch, is I weave it underneath. So I go underneath, and then I go down in the hole that it's supposed to go in. And then that's done. There we go. Two Jessica stitches down. Another probably 50 to, well, I have like hundreds to go, but for this row, I probably have another 50. So that's how I do my Jessica stitches with a bead. I hope that it turned out I was looking at the stitches and not the phone. I wasn't doing it through the phone. Well, you know what I mean. Anyway, I hope that helped some of you guys who are afraid to do the Esther's Wave and is intimidated by the beading. It's not really not as scary as it seems. It does take a lot of time and a lot of patience, but it is doable. So Allison is learning how to stitch. Let's see. Let's see. I think I did it wrong. It's okay, you're still practicing. It's okay. I did this one. Yeah, she did the third one. I did the first two. And she did the third one. So guys, I'm going to call it a night. The kids are in bed. I'm just watching National Lampoon's Vacation. And I'm just going to sit and relax. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.